Well, Perth's building industry is in selling of a crisis at the moment with 30,000 new homes approved but only 5,000 brickies available to build them. It means the chances of not only long delays for homeowners but also the potential to get ripped off with dodgy tradies being lured by the prospect of a big payday. A good brickie can lay up to 1,000 bricks a day and be paid $2 a brick. That means taking home around about two grand a day. So how do you protect yourself from the Cowboys? For more, we're joined by Michael McLean from the Master Builders Association and bricklayer Miram Vrabel. I hope I've pronounced your name correctly there, Miram. Good morning to you both. Michael, I'll start with you. Now, we're told the industry is uh, facing a backlog at the moment. What sort of a wait are people facing when it comes to building their new homes? Look, at the moment, uh, Western Australia is going uh, through some very buoyant times. We have a record number of uh, dwelling approvals in uh, WA, over 30,000, and that's translating to a very busy time on sites. Uh, with double brick being the predominant form of construction in Western Australia, uh, bricklayers are in high demand. And uh, at times that can cause uh, several weeks delay in order to provide continuity of work uh, for the builders, uh, which is causing some backlogs uh, with the following trades, such as roof carpenters, uh, the roof tilers uh, and the, uh, the plasterers. Miriam, can I ask you, there's obviously a lot of potential, as I just mentioned a moment ago, a lot of potential for money to be made in construction, particularly if you're a brickie. How frustrating is it when these rogue workers come in and give guys like yourself a bad name? Uh, well, it can be very frustrating, actually, because you hear about these guys, they'll come in, they'll be getting, like, inflated rates, stuff like this, and um, the regular kind of guys sort of... Uh, we find ourselves sort of coming through and cleaning up all their mistakes and stuff like this and and you just feel bad for the owners as well because you see it and it's just not right. Miriam, so what sort of problems can a bad brickie cause? What sort of problems are you having to fix up? Oh, well, there can be all sorts of things. I mean, just like um, just the job's not finishing level on the top and carpenters and things like this might come and, you, you know, you can't erect a good roof or you know, even to hold things down. There's, there's sort of lots of things. It can look good from, you know, an uneducated look at it. It could look good, but it's all the, the other things like, you know, all sorts of things like, you know, waterproofing and, mm. um, you know, there's many issues that you just don't see, but, and you won't pick up until down the track when, you know, the home may be handed over and then all these maintenance issues sort of pop up and it's kind of too late then and then costs blow out and, yeah, it cost a fortune and a lot of time yeah. to go back and undo the mistakes. Michael, can I ask you, here in Western Australia, as I understand it, individual bricklayers don't need a licence to go and operate as one. So how can we make sure that we haven't hired a dodgy one? Yes, in Western Australia, you don't need to have a licence or registration to operate as a bricklayer. However, uh, uh, a number do complete their apprenticeships. Unfortunately, probably less than 50% complete their apprenticeships and carry out the balance of their learning uh, on the job. Uh, the onus falls to the registered builder to ensure that he's engaging a properly trained um, bricklayer. Uh, fortunately at the moment there's over 500 apprentices working in the bricklaying trade which is probably uh, uh, double the amount it was uh, two years ago. So the onus falls on the registered uh, builder. If you're an owner builder well you take the risk mm. and as Miriam was saying you could hire some pretty dodgy people if you're not careful. So make sure you get a good builder, number one. <laughs> Absolutely. Michael and uh, Miriam, appreciate your time this morning.